Yeah. We're excited. We're looking forward to uh, our kids. Last couple of weeks, I think we really started to play the kind of softball we need to play going into the swag tournament. Everybody's going to come after us uh, because we are the swag defending champion. Uh, it was exciting. Uh, this season, it, you know, injuries and just things happen. It was tough. And uh, as I stated, everybody's coming after us. Uh, every time we, we get on the field, everybody's coming after us. And so, uh, you know, but, but we've accepted the challenge. The kids have played extremely well. And uh, it was a great feeling to, to clinch it. Uh, last week, you know, fifth time winning in the, the, the Western Division. Not an easy task, uh, but you know we set out with several goals every year. And that's our goal every year: to win, you know, first win the Western Division, and then obviously get into the conference tournament and take one game at a time. Our first go round with uh, being here at the SWAT tournament, and I know our kids are really excited, and we're really excited for our program. Um, it's a very good tournament. You know, a lot of good teams here, and we're just excited to be here. Well, um, we had played a very good schedule, and we were trying just to um, gain some respect and just kind of do our thing this season. We were working hard. Uh, offensively, we just had a very good season. We had a lot of good hitters, and uh, pretty much carried us all year. But, um, you know, we're proud of them. We're excited about what they can bring. You know, just that hard work and dedication that they can overcome anything. And I think um, with heart and soul, the kids can. And um, we're just trying to instill that in our organization and our program. I think the competition is going to be great. Uh, there's a lot of teams that's up at the top that's doing really well. Uh, Jackson and Texas Southern has pretty much uh, repeated what they did last year. And uh, pretty much got some of the same matchups from last year in terms of the, uh, the teams, you know. Uh, we're opening up with Southern. I think Graham is opening up with Jackson. So some of the uh, matchups are about the same. And uh, But the thing about it, the, the kids that got older, they're a year, uh, another year with more experience. So I think it's going to be a good tournament. Uh, look forward to uh, getting out playing tomorrow. The weather looks great. Uh, the fields are in great condition this year. So uh, we look forward to uh, playing here this week. Uh, you know, Alabama State is uh, has a new coach. It's doing really, really well. And their kids are, are performing. Uh, they're hitting the ball. They're just performing great right now. Uh, the kids look like they're really believing in the program. Uh, and she's definitely doing a great job. Coach Hall has got her group back here. Uh, they've been out for the last couple of years, you know, being the uh, closest team by. So, you know, I know that was a, a good thing to be able to be here. So she's doing well her second year in. And then, you know, on the other side, you got your veterans on that side. So, of course, they're doing well. And then you got a new coach over there with Southern has turned that program around. And uh, they're looking good. They're in second place. And uh, they're playing very uh, very good ball right now and a very confident group. I just think um, there's a lot of parity throughout the conference this year. And, um, and that's a good thing because the conference, I believe, is getting better from top to bottom. And, uh, and, and teams have done a very good job of representing uh, the conference this year both in and outside the conference, so really looking forward to the tournament. This is our third Eastern Division Championship uh, in, 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 in three years, and so we're really excited about that. Um, and our goal was to take every series, and whether it was a sweep or whether it was two out of three games, because we knew at, in the end that uh, it would give us a chance when it came down to the seeding of the tournament. And so we're really um, pleased with where we're at right now. But um, even though we put in all of that work, that's all kind of out the window at this point um, once you get into bracket play. I think it was day two of the um, SWAC roundup. Uh, day one was just a, a bad outing for us because uh, generally we don't lose conference games and so uh, we dropped both of them in day one and we just kind of threw a line in the sand and said enough's enough and, and from then on we went on a run.